And the scripture says, I'm afraid. Paul did have a fear. This is not a wicked fear. This is a godly fear, a fear of God. He says that as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, and Satan is crafty. He wants to get you to not obey Jesus. He wants to get in your head to say, what's the use of serving Jesus? It's too hard. It says, your minds. He's coming to corrupt your mind. So he's going to offer you all these suggestions. He's going to say, just like he did with Eve in the garden, he said, did God really say that if you touch this tree and eat of this fruit that you'll surely die? And he, he offers those suggestions. He does the same thing today. Did God really say that if you commit that sin, you'll go to hell? Yes, he did. He said, if you continue in sexual immorality, you will go to hell if you don't stop sinning in that way by the power of the Holy Spirit. He did say that if you continue in greed and idolatry, that you will go to hell. He did say that if you're full of covetousness, you will go to hell. But Satan offers these suggestions. You know what? It's okay if you continue to sin. It's, it's, okay. Oh, it's okay if you continue to stumble in that area. God, Did God really say that he'd throw you into hell if you commit those sins? Those sins prove that you don't know Christ. If you continue in those sins, they prove that you don't know Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ will come and save you from those sins ruling over your life. And so Satan is actively corrupting your mind. It says he wants to anyway. It says that you'll be led astray from the simplicity and the purity of devotion to Christ. 